What's up guys? So you've been asking me for a sight calibration, so I put you a sight calibration video together. So uh, we're going to come out here today, we're going to set some nails with total station. I'm going to assume 5,000, 5,000, and then we're going to um, see about getting that sight calibration uh, squared away. So um, you guys, uh, I tell you what, if you give me a few minutes to um, get everything set up, I'll, uh, I'll get these nails set in the ground and uh, see if we can't get this thing rolling. Man, it looks hot out here too. So, um, guys, give me a minute. Let me get um, total section set up, grab my nails, get all that set. And uh, in the meantime, you guys watch this. Okay, we're out here today and we're gonna do a sight calibration. You guys have been asking me for a sight calibration now for a while. Here we go. We're just gonna do a basic straight up sight calibration. I've got five points out here that I set with the total station. Uh, I assumed 5,000, 5,000 and I took off and I just put a coordinate on five of these points. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sight cal to two of them and then we're gonna stake out the rest of them and find them. Now once we find them, we have a choice. We can either uh, accept our site calibration if that's what we want to work off of or we can delete our site calibration like if I was doing a property survey I probably would delete the site calibration so that I would have a position a state plane position on each one of those points so that's what we're going to do today and I'm going to show you how to do it so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go job I'm going to call it site cal which is what I called it the other day Yep, I'm gonna override it. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring some points in. So I'm gonna go to job. I'm gonna say copy between jobs. Demo is the job that I set the points in. So we're gonna copy the points and we're gonna copy uh, to this site cal job. Copy calibration, no. Do I wanna copy all the points? Yes. So if I go to jobs, I go to point manager, you're gonna see I've got all the points in there so we're ready to go. So let's go in to measure, RTK. Let's just start our base. So we're gonna start our base with an autonomous position. So point name number 100, there is no 100 in the job. So what I'm gonna do is go to key in. I'm gonna go down here in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. I'm gonna hit here. So once I get here position, it gives me an autonomous position uh, on the base. So it's uncorrected. I could be doing static, I could post process. I could be doing, I could have set a point off the network. I could have done all kinds of things, but this is just an autonomous position we're using right now. So I'm going to store that. Okay. So I'm going to put an antenna height of two meters. I'm going to go to the lever of the R10 extension. So what I'm doing is I'm giving it the height up to the top of that uh, two meter tripod. So by saying lever of R10 extension, and you can set this in your survey styles, it knows to go from there to the center of, uh, phase center of the antenna. So uh, I get a correct measurement. And that way I don't have to sit there and add two meters plus the lever extension height plus a quick release height. It already knows what it is. So we're going to roll with that. Base is started. Now I'm gonna start the rover, measure points. Now it's gonna connect up to the rover. Waiting for information from the base. Okay, so there's my base point and everything. So point number 100, or I'm sorry, point number 100 is that, my base point. You can see it's a long way in between it. So if I go um, hold down on the plus, draw me a box, draw me a box. Whoops, my box is getting away from me. on me a box so now you can see my points and everything and where my base station and everything's at so what we're going to do is you have options in here 
So if I go to topo point, that would be like me just going and shooting these points in, right? But there's also a thing in here called calibration. So we can do a calibration point. This is the easiest way to do it. There's some different ways you can do a sight calibration where you just actually go in and shoot the points. And then I go into calibration. And what you want to do is you want to say this point equals the calibration point. So if I went over here and shot number one, just straight up shot it, it would come up probably, um, if I called it 101. So then I would have to know that that was point number one for a grid point, and then it was point number 101 for a calibration point. So it'd be kind of hard to keep up with in my mind. My brain doesn't work that well. So this is an easier way to do it. Uh, so as I put the grid point name in there, it's going to put in there, when I hit enter, it's going to put in uh, underscore GNSS. So I hit enter, there's one underscore GNSS. So I'm going to call this CP space PC, enter. So now I'm set up. Grid point name number one, GNSS point name one underscore GNSS. So it's gonna marry that um, GNSS, the GNSS position, GPS position, to point number one, and that's how it's gonna calibrate. It's gonna twist everything around so that uh, the Latin long equals point number one. So we're doing some fancy math here is what we're doing. So, okay, let's head over to point number one and let's see if we can get this thing shot. Okay, so we're here at point number one. And we're gonna site calibrate to it. Okay, so I'm on top of number one. Now I'm gonna hit measure. We're gonna let it shoot it. And I can tell you another thing. If, uh, if you're not careful, depending on how you're doing it, I don't wanna stand here for 180 epics while we record this. So I'm gonna go to options. And if you look under ob observation type, I can change this to topo point. So, accept, store. Okay, so it gives me my first point. So now I'm ready to move on to go to the next point. So I'm just gonna say apply. Now we're ready to go to the next point. I'm gonna put in point number two and you're gonna see it auto populate uh, GNSS. It says property corner. I will change that to uh, CP space PC. Enter. Okay, now then let's head over to point number two. Get our calibration going. See if we can make this thing work. Okay, so now we're going to do point number two. So I've already got it keyed in here. Number two, number two underscore GNSS. We're ready to do it. We're going to hit measure. So we're going to let it shoot the point. I'm going to store it. Okay, so now it's got me two points. So I've got point number one, point number two. Now it doesn't know anything because I've told it that this is it. This is my back sight. This is everything. So it really doesn't have enough information. It needs more information to be able to start giving us residuals. So, but what we're going to do is we're going to say apply. We're going to jump to menu. We're going to go to stakeout. We're going to stakeout points. We're going to go to number three and we're going to see how close it puts us. Take out number three, go south, go west. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we can find it. Of course, I know exactly where it's at, but we're gonna go stake it anyways. I mean, I said it. Okay, so here we are on point number three. We got it in stake out. Let's see how close we are. We just calibrated to those two points. Now let's see how close we are in stakeout. Okay, so looks like we're within north, bouncing around close to 100th, uh, west about three or four hundredths. So all that looks good. So let's go back. 
Back to here, let's go number three. Enter, same thing, I'm gonna call it CP base PC for property corner, blah, 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 measure. It's gonna take the shot, store. Okay, now we should start be picking up some residuals on our horizontal because now we have three points. So um, we're eight thousandths, nine thousandths, and five thousandths on these three points. So that's not too bad. So we're gonna go see if we can find the other two. So we're just gonna say apply. We're gonna go shoot another one. Follow me. Okay, so here's number four. Let's see if we can uh, stake out number four here. Let's see how close we are. Okay, so if you look at the screen on the data collector, you'll see it's showing us we're sitting on number four right there on the map, the little X right there. So if I go to number four, enter, and uh, I say measure, store. Okay, so now we're starting to see more residuals. So now we're starting to see some vertical residuals. So as you can see, my vertical looks pretty tight so far. My horizontal is kind of bouncing around a few thousands, hundred there, hundred there. So anyways, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to apply that. And there again, we're going to go to menu, stake out, points. I'm going to stake out number five, stake out, stake out. There we go. Okay. So let's head to number five with our 21 satellites and my rover batteries at 7%, so we better hurry up. Okay, here's number five. Let's see how we look on number five. Okay. North 400s, west 300s. So cut about 500s. So I got to think about this as I was walking. I used my robotic pole, which is brand new and I haven't calibrated. This is my new rover pole that I haven't calibrated. That's probably why I'm seeing that difference. Um, so as you can see, I'm on it. So let's get out of here, get out of here. I could be using a switch to routine, by the way, guys. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go to five, enter. See it populates. I think I forgot to do this a while ago. CP space PC for property corner. Who cares? Still gonna work. Measure. And store. Observation store. Okay, so there it is stored. 300s, 300s, 100, zero, and 100. Vertical, looks like I got a couple of them that are 100 off. There's one 200 off. So, as you can tell, it's pretty tight considering what I was doing. If I go to menu, jobs, properties of job, you're gonna notice that it says Arkansas North 301, it says site. Okay, that's actually kind of new, I think, because I don't remember seeing it this way uh, in this version. I think normally it says local site, if I remember right. Uh, they change things up so fast, it's hard for me to keep up with sometimes. So right now it says Arkansas North 301 site. So that means I've got a site calibration attached to this. So if I go in and I say select from the library, Arkansas 301, blah, 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 all that other good stuff, store, and I store this, now you're gonna see that the site calibration went away, okay? So now let's look and see, whoo, now if we start looking, you're gonna see we've got points way the heck down here. So if I do a zoom extents, you can see I've got points down here which is actually around. So there's my one, two, three, and four and five. So that's actually my grid points. So now if I do a zoom extents again, 
and we pan over and we look Yeah, I know, low receiver battery. I didn't change it before I started. So there's our GNSS points. So you can see we're actually setting on number five on our GNSS point. So if I get out of here now and I go to measure and I go to measure points, oh, I'm sorry, in fact, let's just do this. Stake out, points, number five, stake out. So now number five goes off into La La Land because that was 5,000, 5,000 coordinate system. But watch what happens when I go back and I say list and I say five GNSS, which is what we stored this as, stake out. Now you're gonna see we're right on top of it. So what we did is we did a site calibration to find all of our points. And then we cleared the site calibration out because we found all of our points. So now um, we're ready to start topoing or whatever we wanna do. We've got all our property corners uh, located when we've also got them tied in. So I don't have to do a site calibration and find them and then go back and shoot them again. I can do it this way. I, I thought this might be handy for you guys. I know we've, there's been some talk back and forth about rotating points and translating and all this other stuff. This is my preferred method, especially if I'm gonna be using GPS. So um, hope this helps. Uh, battery's fixing to die, so I guess I should get out of here. Um, remember, like and subscribe. If you like, I know that you're enjoying the content. If you subscribe, whenever I get around to posting a video, you'll be the first to see it. So um, guys, I hope you appreciated this. Uh, be careful, uh, stay hydrated out there. It's still pretty warm, got sweat running down my face. Anyways, take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.